Okay, so now let us use Microsoft Excel in order to uh, get uh, uh, the numerical integrals of, of the equation. This is the equation that we have been uh, using for, for a fair number of uh, lectures now f of x equal to 2 minus x plus ln x. Uh, if we integrate this, we will get 2 x uh, minus x square divided by 2 plus x ln x minus x uh, plus 2 x and minus x will result in just one single x over here uh, and plus there will be a constant of integration c. Okay. Uh, so, let us say we want to get integral i from a equal to 1 to b equal to let us say 2 okay. and that is what uh, uh, we, uh, we want to do uh, using say the trapezoidal method. Okay. So, the trapezoidal method we, we want to write out the x, uh, x the first value is going to be 1, the second value is going to be h multiplied by 1. Uh, so, one straightforward thing that we can do is we can split the entire inter interval uh, into one single interval as we have done with the derivation and our uh, the next value is going to be equal to just b. So, let us let us write down h over here and h is going to be just equal to 1. So, our next value is going to be previous value plus the value of h okay. and then we will put dollar signs over there. And then let us compute f of x, f of x is going to be nothing but equal to 2 minus x plus ln of x, okay. that is our f of x. Okay. I will call this trapezoidal rule. Okay, and I will just increase the font size, so that it is clearly visible. Okay. Okay. So, this is what we have using the trapezoidal rule, uh, f of x is going to be this. So, our integral i is going to be nothing but h by 2 multiplied by f of x. Uh, so, that is going to be equal to or h by 2 1 and I will put the dollar signs over there divided by 2 multiplied by y 2 plus y 1. So, that is y 2 plus y 1. Okay. Oops. Yeah, y 2 plus y 1 and I press enter. Okay. So, this is going to be our integral i. The true value of, of integral uh, is is going to be equal to uh, x. Uh, so, that is going to be b minus a. right? So, it is uh, 2 minus 4 divided by 2. So, that is x minus x square by 2 plus x ln x that is 2 multiplied by ln of 2. Okay. That is the value at b minus the value of at a is going to be 1 minus 1 square divided by 2 plus 1 multiplied by ln of 1. So, 0 0.88629 is the integral and integral using the trapezoidal rule if we were to uh, use one single um, uh, so one single interval is going to be as, as shown over here 0 0.48657. Okay. 
So, instead of that what if we choose two intervals. So, we will choose our h as equal to 0 0.5 okay, and then we will just drag this, we will just drag this and the actual value of inter in integral e is going to be equal to sum of these two values and that is 0 0.87602. So, we have now improved the value of integral by going instead of just one single uh, uh, interval by going to two intervals, we have improved that value. What if we go to three intervals? So, it is going to be 1 divided by 3 as the value of h and then we just drag this we just drag this and this is going to be sum for this entire batch. Okay. And as we have now increased the number of intervals, the value of uh, the approximate integral has improved. Okay. So, uh, when h you using the trapezoidal method, when h was equal to 1, I will write down with h equal to 1 by 2 and when h equal to 1 by 3 using trapezoidal. Okay. Using h equal to 1 by 3, the value I will just paste it over here, paste special values. Okay. When h equal to 1 by 2, the value was 8 0.87602 i'll paste it over here and when the value of h was 1 that means we had one single interval this was the value and i'll do the paste special and the values over here okay so this is the trapezoidal rule Okay. So, what do we find in trapezoidal rule? As we uh, increase the number of intervals or as we decrease the delta x or h value, we improve the inte uh, integral value and come closer and closer to uh, the actual true value of 0 0.88629. Now, we will use one third rule. Okay. In one third rule, we will have to use h equal to 1 by 2. Okay. So, we will get uh, the value of uh, x, uh, value of f of x at x equal to 1, x equal to 1.5 and x equal to 2. Okay. And the inte integral is going to be equal to h by 3. So, that is h divided by 3 and I will put dollar signs multiplied by f 1 plus 4 f 2 plus f 3. Okay. So, this is the value of the integ integral obtained using the one third rule. Okay. So, if you compare the value using h equal to 1 by 2 using the trapezoidal method versus using the one third rule, we will see that the value of the integral using the one third rule is closer to the true value than uh, it is for the trapez uh, trapezoidal rule. Okay. And finally, we will use the 3 8th rule okay. and for 3 8th h is 1 by 3. and integral using the 3 8th rule is going to be equal to 3 multiplied by h and I will put the dollar signs over here divided by 8 multiplied by f 1 plus 3 multiplied by f 2 plus 3 multiplied by f 3 plus 1 multiplied by f 4 and that is the value we get for the integral 
using the 3 8th rule. Okay. And this is what we are going to compare if we if we intend to. Uh, so, I will shade them and this is to be compared and so I will shade them with a different color. Okay. So, to, to summarize with H uh, what, what we have done so far is use the trapezoidal rule. Uh, we wanted to find integral from 1 to 2 f of x, where f is given this way f of x dx, the integral 1 to 2 by using just a single interval and trapezoidal rule uh, had fair amount of errors. Uh, when we go to h equal to 1 by 2 and repeat the trapezoidal rule application twice, the error becomes uh, uh, significantly smaller and when we apply the trapezoidal rule 3 times, the error decreases if we decrease h further and further the error will keep decreasing further okay then we considered new uh, the simpson's one third rule and simpson's single application of single simpson's one third rule uh, allows us to compare the result we get using two applications of the trapezoidal rule and we find that the simpson's one third rule is more accurate than the trapezoidal rule and then when uh, we can get three applications of trapezoidal rule and compare it with the 3 eighths rule and one application of 3 8 rule is more accurate than three applications of this uh, of the trapezoidal rule and one application of 3 8 rule is also more accurate than the one third rule. Okay. So, essentially that is what I wanted to cover with respect to the numerical integration using what is known as the Newton quotes integration formulae.